Good morning. And welcome to Tuesday's Tidbits. After this Tuesday's Tidbits, I'll be doing this every two weeks instead of every week for the month of August and maybe September. So what you're looking at are Lily's puppies along with Mystique and Millie, whose new name is Precious. It was really too hard having two puppies with similar names. So I want them to know their names. So we have Mystique, who is having a good old time over there. And hello, lovey. And we have Precious now instead of Millie. Hey, you guys. Of course that's not good. Yes. The two big girls. Okay, so we have a new addition to Anne's Precious Yorkie's Litters. And this is Gracie's Litter. Litter PP. So we have Panda and Prince. Yes, I know, Gracie. And they're doing great. They were born at 4.15 and 4.30 a.m. on Saturday. Yes, Gracie, you're a good mama. They're growing, they're eating, and I weigh them twice a day in grams, so I make sure that they're growing. And they're never fussing about anything. They seem to be very happy and content. Yes, Gracie, and this is Gracie, my good girl. So um, I thought I'd tell you a little story about this delivery so you have an idea of some of the things that can happen when you're a breeder. Um, I heard Gracie digging, digging, digging at around one o'clock in the morning or so, 12, 30, one o'clock in the morning. And then she started panting. And as soon as they start panting, I know there's something going on. So she did start having some slight contractions at about 1.15. But it went on and on and on and around 3.30-ish, I figured she's been doing this piddly stuff for a while. She did start doing heavier contractions and some pushing. So I figured, okay, so we'll go from when she started really pushing and keep an eye on it. Well, Prince was the first puppy to come out. And he he was a good-sized boy, so was Panda. Um, he was kind of stuck, and she was pushing and pushing, and nothing was happening, and I was getting a little nervous. I, I called the emergency vet and told them what was going on, and they said, well, you know, if she needs a C-section, we can't do that tonight. So I was like, oh, God. So I texted my vet. She obviously didn't hear the text and didn't get back to me, so I knew I was kind of stuck, and I needed to do something, which is a very hard situation when you're a breeder and you're afraid you're going to lose a puppy and maybe you're a female. So what I did is I just picked her up and put her on her feet and then I stood her on her back feet for a little bit and that gravity, her being upright, um, helped that puppy come out finally at 4.15. We were very happy to see him. And then not 15 minutes later, his brother was born. So. It was a very scary morning. I hadn't slept all night and um, I had no help. So I had to use my own brain and figure out what to do. And I remembered when I had my son, he didn't want to come out. So they had me get up on my knees. So I think that's why I decided to do this with Gracie, get her up in an upright position so gravity would help. And it did, thankfully, and we didn't have any issues. But it is a very scary thing. We want our dogs to be good. We sit here and wonder why are we doing this? This is so hard. People don't understand it. They think it's so easy. It's not easy. I've had to stay up trying to tube feed puppies. It doesn't, hasn't worked for me. I've lost puppies and it's very sad. Um, but I continue to do it because I love it. I love doing the puppies. I love raising the dogs. I, I love it. Um, the hardest part for me, though, is letting them go. Um, not the puppies so much, but my adult dogs. When I have to let them go and rehome them, that's very difficult. And we will be doing that with a couple of our dogs this fall. So 
Um, Panda is spoken for and Prince is not. Prince is the black boy. He's a KB black. He has a little bit of white on him and he is not spoken for. So if you are interested, please get in touch with me and we will go through the process. So I hope everybody had a great has a great Tuesday and we'll see you in two weeks.